Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard. We are playing as Tambuka, and going for the Laughing Stock achievement, which of course we don't have to do as Tambuka. This is a really weird choice, but it's close to hee hee and low low, which we don't need. I've never played there. I don't like fetishes. They're fun. I bet a bunch of people doing this are going to try playing as people like Denmark. Or maybe even Portugal. So, it's kind of fun to do it against the grain, so to speak. Off the beaten path. And I'm going to build up our navy, but I think I'll wait until we get a mission to do that. Which I think will probably be one of our choices that pops up once we've gotten our war exhaustion down. So five months, four months from now. Okay, we can get another, another unit of troops. I'm going to get the cavalry up here. Because we do have the money for that. I mean, right now we're still overextended. Get a proper fleet, or we could try to convert Ingooch to Fetishist. I'm going for the create a proper fleet. And what we're going to want is enough transports to get across over here. So we'll start with that. Sailors are a problem because we didn't have any before. It's just starting to be eligible for sailors. And we'll move down here for the so fallen. Build marketplaces, that's always fun. And what are we at here? 49.85, so we'll just ask for the contribution now. Heck. Okay, now we don't really need to be paying these troops beyond what's necessary for them to recover their manpower. So I'll just pay a little bit of wages. Uh, we also don't need to pay this fort if we don't want to. Same with this one. Or that one. Gives us a little bit of army tradition. We're spending a lot on advisors right now. And I'm going to start getting these trade power buildings. Yes, that's a state. And this we already gave out, good. So this we're going to give to our clergy. 
And they still don't have much land. I'm gonna give this to our nobility. Yeah, why don't we give this to our clergy as well? And even that. So we're 11 years ahead of time on military tech. <laughs> 348. That's pretty hilarious. We're starting at ships. It looks like this is much better at ship production than this. So we'll have five ships. So this will be six. And those are all the sailors we have at the moment. Okay, now we can see a lot more. Looks like Mombasa. Completely an next Malindi. And now they're trying to take out Kilwa. Good for them. Uh, we already have the maximum number of states, so we're going to have to give something else to our nobility. Why don't we give this? It's still 60 autonomy. Produces ivory, but we have to give them something. Okay, these two places are going to have higher than normal trade good value because their development is so high. So we'll put in trade power buildings in both of those provinces. Draft it. Yeah, thinking that we're in pretty good shape. Got an out of balance tech. But other than that, our country is looking pretty good, I must say. Gets more cavalry. And we can get an ability. I definitely want this development ability. We could get cheaper war taxes, but money isn't really a problem. We can get rid of some of our aggressive expansion that we'd otherwise pick up, but no, I think if we're going to be colonizing, we might as well embrace that future. Ooh, Buha, look at you, you got wrecked by Rwanda. We're partially to blame for that. Have you become our vassal? No, you wouldn't. Not until we get closer. But we could get closer. Um, Conjun Rwanda. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Let's wait till we get some morale back. Okay, so we have the Edict here. Get one here, and that's not a state yet. Okay, nice. <laughs> Advisor cost minus twenty percent. That's really good when we've got two plus two advisors. Okay, I think we're gonna have to keep these guys together. So they do have a big stack, at least until we get across to here and wipe this army out. Then we can spread out. Aw. In Poor Queen Nyagu. Nyangu? Nyagu? I have to check how her name is spelled. Here you guys coming? 
That's Savannah, which is our preferred terrain. Yeah. And that happened. Basically their entire army, other than this. Okay, Kuba, Kanje, Rwanda. So Kuba. Okay, let's start carpet siege. Cool name. Makes me think of the Congolese um, gorilla fighter, Wamba Jawamba. Okay, who has a claim on this? Kikanja Lunda. Yeah, this is Lunda's, so we're giving that back to him. What about you? Lunda's got a claim for it, so they get that. Luba's in our war, I believe. Yeah, Luba's in our war. So we'll see what they're interested in. Okay, these two. We'll go to you. Unless you want it as well. We get these three. Don't be greedy. Gotta share with your allies. Yeah, well, I'm happy the way our army is performing now. Much better than this first where we got into. And, you know, I expected that. I just didn't expect that Mutapa was going to rival us. To the unrest. Because we've killed rebels over here. We shouldn't expect any new uprisings over there anytime soon. Possibly this one, since we're converting it. Yeah, we'll leave this under our control directly. I don't want them taking it. I don't think they can core it. But I want them to hand it back. It's Buha. I mean, we could eventually just diplomatically vassalize them as we push north, and then feed them back their cores. But the reason why they're in such bad shape is because they were defending us, so... We should protect them. Protect their interests. And this one's going to Lunda. March these guys back home. Okay. Wow, did you not give your ally anything? You didn't give Lunda anything? Wow. Prison rules, man. Oh, they're going to win that battle. Well, I guess not that we're getting back up. Okay, we're getting closer to getting this idea group.
Nice. They got their land back. I'm not sure if that's all of it. Yeah, it is all of it. Okay, good for them. That did cost us some manpower. But I'm not afraid to help out our allies in times when we can't wage our own wars, so... That's not a problem for me. Now we're manning all of our forts and still making a little bit of cash. Just a little bit. Got this 12th one right here. And then we'll start making trade ships. Light ships, whatever. Okay, Booha. Renew that alliance. And Royal Marriage. Yeah. Probably lost all of our... Eh, we've got two favors still. So that was a setback. We lost, what, nine favors? Something like that. Proclaim a guarantee over you. Eventually we're going to become a great power. And then we'll just influence them and build towards them and vassalize them. Okay, there's number 12. So we just need some more sailors and we'll make some trade ships. Actually, this is kind of silly that they're building them all in the same area. I need 50 per light ship. i to move these guys up here. And no point paying our troops unnecessarily. Birth of colonialism. So we weren't in the position that we needed to be to try getting that early. But we could try developing... Try making it spawn. So why don't we try to make this a really good trade node? Although this is really going to be our end trade node, so maybe... Hmm. I want something adjacent to this, so it moves quickly through there. And this is better terrain to develop. Yeah, I think that's where we will develop this time. We're trying to get caught up in this tech, so let's dump military points into it first. And we're six percent of the way there. This map hasn't spread to us. But you pick could we vassalize you perhaps? No. Certainly ally or attack them, either one. Kill us one province minor, that's glorious. Now let's just get prestige. Yeah, Pete, I don't think you want to be allied to Kilwa. 
Let's actually get a claim on them. And when we take Kilwa out, we can just take them as well at the same time, and they'll be cheaper for us to core. I think we'll get this tech level. Nice, create our proper fleet. Now remove. Now we'll convert Ingoch. Help us convert the rest of the stuff. Lots of fighting going on there. We can't see any of the nations. We do need to get involved in this struggle at some point if we're going to unlock another cult. I wish it would tell us which cults we have unlocked somewhere. Uh, we can invade you in three years. Believe me, I'm going to do that. Oh, we were gonna build some more. Let's do that. Do temple there. We could start doing some barracks around the place as well. Let's go for trade efficiency. And let's keep it in our time. I haven't checked in a while. 23 minutes, okay. Hmm. It's going to be another fight going on here. What is that about? And boss is attacking Pate. And Kilwa is trying to protect them. There might not be a Kilwa here. I'm curious how far off we are. Not too far off from Burgundy. But I bet there's somebody else waiting to surpass them. Hmm. Goach. Maybe we can get them as an accepted culture or something? So let's cancel this and go for Ingoch, which would give us more missionary strength once we complete that. I like those sound effects. Drumming. Just adds a little bit of flavor. Okay. Allies are idle. Oh, hey, there's no Killwa. There's no Pate. Hey, neighboring. Threatening. Okay, looks like we have some idle diplomats. Why don't we put one at each of those slots for the time being? They're idle, but they'll they'll go somewhere eventually. 
Okay, but we got this, but I don't really want to pay ahead of time cost for it. And we could get some more loyalty if we sent cash, but really all it would give us is more cash. Um, and potentially a little bit more conversion strengths. So let's actually do that. Because now that we have over 60 loyalty from the clergy in this province, since it is controlled by the clergy, we do get 2% more missionary strength. Alright, do we want to be friends with them? They have no allies. No, we don't want to be friends with them. We want to conquer them. We actually already have claims on some of their stuff. From when it belonged to Kilwa. We've got plenty of manpower. We've got plenty of cash to pay our troops. We will fall behind on admin tech if we have to core all this stuff. But eventually they're going to get some more allies, so we might as well take advantage of this situation when we can. Nine and four. We get another horse here. Kilwa. Can't put the skin charge. I might as well tech up. Stability or inflation. Take some inflation. A military tech eight versus our nine. I think their navy is still going to be stronger than us. Yeah, they have a big ship. Yeah, their navy is going to be a lot stronger than ours. Okay, Bagamoyo. I haven't seen their troops yet. I bet they're hiding up here somewhere. Oh, there is, like, could be here. It's a possibility. Well, we'll just keep our trips next to each other. Time is on our side. We're going to capture their fort, not the other way around. So the only downside is that we are going to suffer a little bit of devastation from that blockade. And we really should be building up spy power here. Bringing down this fort a little more quickly. Okay, almost positive chance. And Mombasa should fall pretty quickly too. Looking forward to this because we could take from them Zanzibar, which is a center of trade. Mombasa, which is a center of trade. And we can get ourselves situated up here a little more closely to Ajram. And there's a center of trade up there. So that could be fulfillment of an objective. I'd like to be able to humiliate a rival, but that's not something we have going on for us in our region. Really, the only one competitive with us is Congo. Maybe Lunda. But they're probably really far behind in institutions. So 
Move up there. How do I know where their army is? And then, of course, deal with it appropriately. Let's start with these ones that have a really slow chance. Very really slow uh, conversion rate. While well, we have the bonus. Let's go to general. Okay, we're going to send just this guy and the general over here, because he does have two pips of siege, and we'll try out our new general here. Wow, that was quick. Their manpower is holding for the time being. We had to wipe out their armies, that cost us men, but. We've got still a third of our manpower. And the siege isn't over yet, but we've made a lot of progress, so. We shouldn't lose too many men, a couple thousand more, maybe. Cantalism is right. How are you doing over here, Boha? Been alright. Uh, yeah, they're already giving us their trade power. Definitely going to need to get closer to them. And we're going to need to keep developing and expanding. Let's go ahead and take that. And I think we might want to get our first... Hmm. First idea probably should be a military idea. We could go for offensive. Let's go for offensive. Often like defensive. But offensive is really good too. Okay, so what do I yeah, I guess defensive would work really well with our hired attrition. I wanna be able to siege out stuff quickly. So we're going offensive. Call that guy back. Oh, Zanzibar. It's just a little bit too much. Okay, so we could leave him with one province somewhere. If we want to take that. Why don't we leave them with Pate? Then take Zanzibar from them. So that's 74 war exhaustion, or sorry, overextension. Yeah, we can manage that. Give me your land. Let's reduce that overextension. We're going to keep that fort. And we've become a great power. Good for us. Let's keep an eye on our time. Uh, 34 minutes, so let's stop here. Thank you for watching.